Hello everyone, welcome to Economics with Maker. Today's lesson is about total revenue and price elasticity of demand. In our previous videos, we discussed about price elasticity of demand, how we measure responsiveness in quantity demanded for a change in price. Today we are integrating something new to our topic, total revenue. Actually, the total revenue is the income generated by businesses by selling goods and services. So we can calculate total revenue of a firm by multiplying its price or unit price and quantity sold. So this is the simple equation how we can calculate total revenue. Revenue is unit price multiplied by quantity sold. So if you look at firms, they are conducting these business activities to make profits. So out of their revenue or out of their income, a proportion is allocated to cover up their cost. Same time, the excess is their profit. So businesses always try to gain excess money because they want to make more profits. So they will always think about increasing its revenue. If you look at how to increase total revenue, if you look at this simple equation, we can try out few strategies to increase total revenue of a business. The first strategy would be increasing prices by decrease by keeping the quantity constant. So let's take an example like this. We have a firm where price is $5, unit price, price of single product, and they sell 1000 units. So their revenue is going to be $5,000. And if you think this company increases its prices to $6. And keeping the quantity constant what will happen the revenue will increase revenue will increase to six thousand dollars so what we simply did we did not change the quantity but we increased the prices you can see total revenue has increased this is one strategy let's think about a situation where we do not change the price, price is still $5, but we increase the quantity, that is $1,500. So our revenue will increase to $7,500. So what did we do in the second situation? We did not change the price, but we increased the quantity. But as a result, total revenue increased. Same time, we can think about changing both variables where we are going to change the prices and also quantities sold. Let's say we increase the prices to $6 and quantities to $2,000. So our total revenue is going to be $12,000. So if you look at third situation, we changed both variables. So these are the few strategies businesses can use using total revenue formula to increase its revenue. Increase price by keeping quantity constant. Increase quantity by keeping price constant or else increase price and quantity both. Next, let's have a look at different types of products with different elasticities and find out what will happen to their total revenue when they change prices. First, we'll take elastic demand. Elastic demand is percentage change in quantity is greater than 
percentage change in price. So let's take total revenue rule for this elastic demand. So we calculate TR, I take it in short form, price into quantity. So let's think about a situation like this. We are going to increase prices of this product by 5%. Since this is elastic demand, the proportional change in quantity should be greater than percentage change in price. So when we increase prices by 5%, quantity will decrease, but that should be greater than 5. So let's assume that is 20%. So you all can see, since we increase the prices, quantities decreased, but in a bigger proportion. So what will happen to our total revenue? Total revenue will fall. So we increase the prices, total revenue is decreasing. Think about the opposite situation. Where we are going to decrease prices. We decrease prices by 5% now. So this product is having elastic demand. That means if you make a change to prices, quantity demanded is going to respond in a bigger proportion. So what will happen? Quantity will increase in a bigger proportion. Let's say 15%. So what will happen to the total revenue now? It will increase. So this is how Total revenue will change when you change prices for elastic demand. If you look at total revenue and price variable, this kind of relationship we can identify. For elastic demand, price and TR move opposite directions. You can see when we decrease the prices, TR was increasing. When we increase the prices, TR was decreasing. So that is for elastic demand. So the rule for elastic demand, when you change prices, TR will go the opposite direction of price. This is for price elastic products. Let's have a look at price inelastic products. If you take inelastic demand, we define inelastic demand is percentage change in price is greater than percentage change in quantity. If you make a change to prices of a product, quantity will change but in a very small proportion. So let's take our TR formula. TR is price into quantity. Now let's assume we increase prices by 5%. Now this is the proportionate change we made for the price. Now what will happen to quantity? Quantity will decrease in a small proportion. So let's say 2%. So as a result, what will happen to our total revenue since we have increased price by a bigger proportion, our total revenue will increase. 
if you look at different situation where we decrease prices we decrease prices by 10 percent since this is inelastic demand responsiveness in quantity demanded is less than the responsiveness in price so percentage change in quantity demanded will be less than percentage change in price so let's say it's five percent So what will happen to our TR? TR will form. So you can understand the movement of price and total revenue. For inelastic demand, total revenue and price move same direction. For elastic demand, Total revenue and price move different or opposite directions. But for inelastic demand, total revenue and price move same direction. Let's have a look at unitary elastic demand or unit elastic demand. So the definition of unitary elastic demand is percentage change in quantity is equals to percentage change in price. So if you change the price of the product by one unit, quantity also will change by one unit. So if PD value, if we consider that is 1. Let's look at total revenue rate. TR is price into quantity. Now, if you may change the price, let's say we decrease prices by 5%. Now what will happen to quantity? Quantity moves other direction, but same unit. So, when we decrease prices by 5%, quantity will increase by 5%. So, this will have neutral effect on total revenue. So, this is negative movement, this is positive movement. As a result, total revenue will have neutral movement. So, remember, if you are having unitary elastic demand for a product, TR and price has a neutral relationship. So which means If you change prices, quantity also will change in same proportions, so total revenue will not change. The importance of total revenue rule relevant to price elasticity of demand is when you identify type of elasticity of your product you are selling to your customers, you can think about how to change your prices to gain higher revenues by selling goods and services. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, do not forget to post your comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe by pressing the bell button. Thank you for watching this video.